Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. If you can't tell, we are in the beautiful state of Utah right now, and we are going to be taking all of our rigs here through a lot of the famous trails at Moab. Now this is actually my first time at Moab and we spent a gnarly 22 hours driving yesterday until three in the morning, so please excuse my bloodshot eyes. But pretty much all of us are awake right now. We're just waiting on a few more people and then we're gonna get out and get ready to roll. So if you guys have not been paying attention to the Instagram page, we just installed this crazy four and a half inch long travel kit on the Forerunner. So I am running this kit with the locked off road coilovers with these custom mounted remote reservoirs right there. And of course we have our heavy duty spindle gussets. I only really just got this kit put on the car. I haven't even had a chance to take it wheeling. So this is going to be our first real wheeling trip with the vehicle. And yeah, we're gonna see how well the rig does. We have the whole crew with us here on this trip. So we're gonna have a fun time out there. So let's get out there. So we are currently at our first trail at Moab. This trail is called Fins and Things. It should be a relatively moderate trail. It is a five on the difficulty rating scale out of 10. They do recommend 33 inch tires plus a locker on this trail, which all of us here are more than enough equipped with. So this trail shouldn't be too difficult and should be a nice warm up for the rest of the day. So with that said, we're gonna go hit the trail. The trail so far was pretty mild, but we did come across this optional little step here, which really showcases the difference between the Forerunner's shorter wheelbase and larger tires against my friend's Bronco with a longer wheelbase and smaller tires. like that like just literally like that Wait. at this point in the trail we realized I had a flat tire because one of my monster valves was leaking air so we quickly stopped the leak filled up the tire and kept going on our way very steep and rocky climbs on this trail which I wouldn't have tried anywhere else but the rock here in Moab has so much grip and all of our vehicles walked up it with ease. just finished the Fins and Thing Trail. It was actually a lot easier than I expected and I think pretty much any of you guys on 33s, even open diffs, could have done that. And now we are on our way to the infamous Hell's Revenge Trail. So you might know this trail for the Hell's Gate obstacle. I've never been on it, nobody with me has been on it. So we're gonna see what it's like once we get there and hopefully we make it up with no problems.
obstacle right here is another example of one of those steep climbs and I have to say this is the steepest I have ever been in the Forerunner. All I could see was sky and it took me a little time to get the courage to give it the little bump I needed because every time I went forward it felt like I was about to fall backwards. This was the moment I had been waiting for all trip, and after having seen so many viral videos online of people rolling their vehicles on this obstacle, my nerves were really starting to get to me before this climb. But I had a great team of people with me and some great spotters, so the vehicle got up it with ease and it even went back around for a second run. At this point, the sun was going down, so we stopped to watch the sunset, grab some cool photos, and then we started the long journey back. We had a really fun day yesterday on Hell's Gate and overall I would say that it was actually a lot easier of a trail than I expected it to be. I would say that the most difficult part of the trail, especially at nighttime, is just getting over the mental aspect of it. At nighttime when you're on those big ridges with huge drops off to the side, you do need to be a little careful and make sure that you know where you're going. 
But other than that, the trail is actually a really fun and pretty easy going trail. Anyways, that is it today for the video on Hell's Gate. I'm about to start a new video on another trail today, but that is going to be in the next video. If you enjoyed the content from the trip, I would really appreciate if you guys hit that subscribe button. That means a lot to me. Also make sure to leave a comment below. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time.